Welcome to a new episode of Playing with Junk. This time I have a thermal camera here from Hick Micro. It's the Eco Series handheld thermal camera. And uh, yes, this is a sponsored video. They asked me if I want to have one of their cameras and make a video about it. And well, I said yes, I do. Let's see what it has. It has an infrared resolution 96 by 96. It's upscaling that with software, of course, to 240 by 240. It has a 112 to 1 distance to spot ratio. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure what that means. Maybe when you're 112 meters away, one dot is one meter, something like that. Maximum temperature measurable 550 degrees. Uh, it also has a laser pointer. I don't know why that is necessary because you have a screen, you know where you shoot at. Uh, it has a built in memory, can run up to eight hours, and yeah. Okay, let's see what's inside. So we have some papers, some manuals, some foam, we have a camera, okay, looks a little bit like a FLIR camera from the design, but well it's a thermal camera, what else can you do? And we have some accessories here. There is not too much inside. Okay, just a cable. Uh, with, oh, with an USB-C adapter. Okay, and an USB-C cable that goes to the camera. That, okay. Yeah. Let's see, we have English, German, yes, all the usual languages, only a few pages of each, but I think the camera won't be too complicated to operate. So let's first remove that one. And it looks a little bit nicer than before. Okay, that's good, no fingerprints. Let's see if it turns on. Yes. In fact, it turns on pretty quickly. It's much faster than my FLIR camera. That takes about a minute or so to boot. Let me see, what can we do here? Not much. Oh, okay. Albums. We don't have any images yet. Uh, emissivity rate, okay. That's the uh, value, how much the object you actually want to measure reflects uh, thermal uh, energy or emits thermal energy. For example, for a high gloss, uh, Aluminium piece, you, I don't know, would you uh, correct that up or down? I have to find out. Distance, 0 0.5 meters. Oops. That's because, do we have dual cameras? Yes, no, maybe. It looks like a, oh no, that's the laser. Okay. I don't know why we need that distance set up when we have only one camera. Uh, maybe we should read the manual. Display settings. What is that? 
Okay, you can set if you want to see the cold spot, the hot, hot spot center. Okay, color distribution. Okay, I have to read what that means. Super IR. Okay, oh, here palettes. That's the f uh. okay, again. That's the fun part. Yes, iron. Iron is not bad. Let's see how. Like white hot. So we get a black and white image. No. Again. Okay. Oh. I didn't select, okay, now, yes, so we have now a black and white image, I think normally the black and white images are a little bit clearer, so you can see better what, what you're looking at, but for the video we go back to the iron. Okay, so let's shoot a couple of pictures with that. See you later. This is my gas stove. You can also see the hot gases that rise from the flame. That's something you normally don't see. There is no smoke or something. That's the same, but the gas turned off. That's the residual heat of this burner. And this is cold water with hot water running into the, the basin here. And the next image is hot water with cold water running into it. And yeah, the images are not bad. So you can see it's only 96 by 96 upscaled, but yeah, not too bad at all. After seeing the images, I found some interesting uh, features of the camera. For example, if we go down to capture mode, uh, you can have capture one image when you press the button, or you can have a scheduled capture that lets you set uh, an interval and the number of images you want to capture so it is more or less capable of doing video and also time-lapse recording let's see what the maximum number here is oh a lot 300 400 well, ooh, how much? 10,000. Okay, 10,000 pictures. That's the maximum here. Let's go down. It's a little bit much. Let's have it on the uh, default setup of 5. Let me see. So interval we can go from 0 hours to how many hours? Yeah, 24 hours. Okay. Then we have minutes. Yes, 59 minutes and 5 seconds. Can we go? Yes, we can go down to 1 second or 59 seconds. So everything between 1 second and 24 hours is possible with a maximum number of 10,000 images. That's pretty good. PC mainboard power up, interval 2 seconds, about 20 pictures.
And that's a blue SCSI board with an Arduino Nano. Uh, also, interval two seconds, about 20 pictures. And for all the other functions and uh, instructions, I recommend you to download the user manual from Hick Micro. Uh, it's pretty easy. The, they even have a, a search bar that actually works. So you type in echo and you find the manual in all languages you require. A nice little thermal camera for uh, about, how much is it, $180 or so. It, it changes from time to time, so that's about what this thing is worth. Okay, turn it off. Hick Micro Eco Series Thermal Camera. Good thing for less money. Thanks for watching.